Today we're going to install the UDAP Bear Shock Camp Fence. This is an ultra lightweight electric fence weighing only 3.7 pounds. It's designed to protect you and your equipment in bear country. It can run for five weeks continuously on two D cell batteries. So let's get started. First thing you'll want to do is get all your stuff ready out of your bag. Now I'll demonstrate how to set up your support poles for your fence. You just push in and then we need to take three of the clips to put these on. These are called insulators, insulator clips. They hold the wire for your bare electric fence. One clip goes below the ferrule and they just twist on. They snap into place. Then you'll want to install two more above the ferrule. And then once again up at the top. And that's your completed post. When putting these into the ground, you'll want to put them in at about a 30 degree angle slanted backwards. And you can just push them into the ground. This fence will do a 27 by 27 foot area. By placing your post in at a 30 degree angle, when you tighten your fence, it will pull them up straight and it will take up the slack in your wires. Because all my insulator clips are pointed upwards, so it'll hold the wire and cradle it. Now we'll install our wire. What I'm gonna do is I'll take the three leads, there's three different wires on this spool, and I'm gonna put them all on at the same time. Okay, to install these, what we'll want to do is tie a loop at each end of the wire. And that will, the, we'll place that loop onto the insulator clips to start it. But it's okay to make these a little bit larger than you would think. Because later we'll install our energizer and we'll clip it to one of these loops. Hold our spool with the three different levels and we'll place those same way on our insulate, ins insulating clips. Try to get them all about equal tension and then as I roll it out, now as I come to the corner I'll do the same thing by inserting each wire in its appropriate place. just run the excess out. Now onto each end of the wire we'll install our gate hooks and our line tighteners. This is called a line tightener. It has three holes and it will take the slack out of our fence. And this is a lanyard hook that we'll use for our gate. By weaving it through the holes and then tying it to the last hole. And we pull enough out to make a loop, and then we place our lanyard hook on there for our gate. So it looks like that. Now as we move this line tightener down, it, it will remove slack out of the fence, increasing the loop. So now we're gonna attach our gate hook from the bottom wire, we're working on the bottom wire right now, to that loop that we tied earlier. And then to remove the slack, we just slide the line tightener down the line. Okay, we're on our uh, middle wire now, and we're going to install the line tightener and the gate hook on this one. So again, you come through the first hole, and then you loop it around and go through the middle And then on the third one, you actually just tie it. So pull enough out so you can tie it. Once your line tightener is, is fastened, you'll want to take the slack from behind right by your, your knot to create a loop and then attach your gate hook you'll want to attach your gate hook to 
the loop that you tied earlier on the middle wire. And then again, by sliding the line tightener down the, creating a larger loop, so these are doubled now, but it, it removes the slack out of your line. We'll do the same for our third and final wire. We can go along the fence and adjust the height of the wires if we want one a little taller by just moving up the insulator clip. Now that we've walked the perimeter of our fence and adjusted the height, you gotta come back to your line tighteners, so we need to take up the slack again. I would start from the bottom, as the posts are usually leaning out, so you kinda of tighten the bottoms first. That one's pretty good. Go to your middle, and then to your top. You don't wanna over tighten, you just wanna keep them so they'll stay up. And that looks really good. Included in your bear shot camp fence is a roll of flagging tape. To install the flagging tape, you just want to either cut or tear small pieces about that long. Now to install this, we don't want to just tie a knot because then when the wind blows, it can, it can make the flagging tape roll down to the end of your wire. So what we'll do is we'll actually separate the wire. And then once you have your wire separated, you can place your flagging tape through there you just kind of pull it tight and it just holds it in place and you can do this about every six feet on the top two wires now that we have the flagging tape installed on our electric fence we're ready to hook up the energizer first we'll place the batteries inside now this is a little different unit than you would think normally with batteries you place the negatives to the springs well, in this case, you don't do that. There's a battery diagram right on the bottom of the cover here. So you'll want to follow that diagram and install the batteries correctly. The Energizer has a ground clamp, which is this green alligator clip, and it has a positive for making your fence live, it's this little metal clip on the top. So where we tied our loop earlier on our middle wire, that's where we'd like to hang our energizer. You can press down on the top of the energizer, making room for you to hook your wire onto that clip. The energizer is a little bit heavy, and I can see it sag my top wire. I'll have to take that slack up later. Now we'll grab our green alligator clamp and our ground stake, and we'll install our ground stake. Clear the area a little bit of any debris that might be in our way. You can take your green alligator clip and attach it around the ground stake. Now the energizer, when turned on, is only going to turn on your middle wire, so we need to be able to make the top wire live as well. So I'm going to go on this side of the fence and install this alligator clip to the top and middle wire. When I do this, it's important to note, you want to grab as, you don't want to just cut it across 90 degrees like that. You want to grab as much wire as you can, making as much connection as you can with these alligator clips. You want to do the same thing on your top wire. Again, trying to grab as many metal wires as possible, kind of going alongside it. So now we're ready to install our additional alligator clip and make our bottom wire an additional ground. To do that, again, we'll grab as many wires as we can with our alligator clip kind of going sideways to the wire instead of just straight across. And in your ground stake, there's a little hole in the top and it's perfect to place that alligator clip in there. Now that we have our ground wire hooked up we've created this as an additional ground. There's a switch on the bottom of the energizer and our fence is now turned on. To get out of your fence, you'll want to turn your fence off. You can either step over as so, but if you're carrying heavy equipment, you still have the gate hooks that you can take your fence down 
and then able to step into your fence a little bit easier. So now I'm on the outside of my fence and I'm going to turn my fence on. When I turn it on I can see the red flashing light inside blinking. It's sending out pulses. It blinks about once every second and I know that the energizer is working properly. We have successfully installed our bare electric fence. Now it's time to disassemble it. We simply unhook the alligator clips and remove the energizer. Now that our energizer is disconnected, we're ready to re-spool our wire. But before we do, in order to wind it nice and tight, I like to remove the flagging tape. You can remove the flagging tape really easy just by pulling it out. Now we're ready to put the wire back on the spool. To do this, we'll want to go the opposite way that we first ran the wires. We started with the loop here, but now we'll want to start with our gate hook. I know I installed the three wires at the same time, but when we're uninstalling them, we'll want to do them one at a time. We're almost to the end here leaving the loop for last and then again when you start you can start with your loop now we're ready to take out our stakes we can lock along and place them in our bag now we can continue and finish placing our goods in the bag everything included even with the batteries is only 3.7 pounds So that's our bear shock electric fence install and takedown. You can purchase a bear shock electric fence at bearspray.com or by calling 866-BEAR-911. Again, thanks a lot. For additional safety in bear country, always remember to carry your UDAP bear spray. This model here is our chest holster system. We also have it on the hip, as you can see here. And these can be pointed and ready to be shot from the holster if needed. We're very fortunate to be able to produce products like these that can and do save lives. Bear spray is your best defense when deterring a bear. Be prepared.